Avast me hearties, gather around and listen to a tale of two scallywag, socks and sapir, who have been chums since they were wee lads, came together through a game called Pokemon Emerald. Now, in their mid-twenties, their friendship be put to the test by a cursed ROM hack that transforms their beloved game into a treacherous roguelike. I be warning ye, this tale here is filled with head scratching. We get one of our so boys back. Do away? Oh. <laughs> grenade? Oh. If it's all grenade. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked this over. Heartbreaking. Bulldoze. Power for it. Oh, unless it's, wa it's fucking water! No! And downright foolishness. Welcome to Tall Tales Pokemon Rogue Edition. If ye enjoying this video at any point, feel free to drop a like. Arg me hearties. Every grand tale begins with a choice, you see? But when ye faced with options like a cotton candy bird, a proper struggling artist, and a rock and roll rhino, the choice be clear as the Caribbean waters. Now all they be lacking is a fitting name for our protagonist Pokemon. I mean, are we doing something funny? Are we doing something like meaningful? Is it just mean? Meaningful? I don't know we what Renamed our Blaziken fucking Jack. Sabir. <laughs> yeah. Why? Do you remember that? Because Jack was like the coolest fucking name for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Such yeah, a white boy name we named him yeah. Jack. Yeah. Alright, you know what? For old time's sake, <laughs> we're gonna name all our Pokemon Jack. Fucking go. <laughs> Mutiny started at the crack o dawn as Sabir engaged in heated quarrel with Socks over the true form that Panic will be taking in its evolution. No, it, it turns into fucking Tyranitar. Pineco? Yeah, I think so. No, it's it's, it's Larvitar. It's Pineco. Yeah, the baby. No, <laughs> Pineco. Well, it's a pine cone. No, what no, is? I promise you. I promise you, Pineco evolves into Fortress. Brock had this Pokemon. Did Brock have this Pokemon? <laughs> Brock had this Pokemon. <laughs> Brock about to beat you up. Come on. <sighs> was crystal clear that this sale was already in peril. After catching a fine Pinaco and spying that he had the mighty move self-destruct, old Socks had a grand idea brewing in this noggin. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> and I also forgot how to spell grenade so he's grenade. <laughs> Aye. Having a big brain scheme for a build he did. Armed with a clever plan, Socks and Sabir sailed smoothly through the remaining routes to reach the first gym leader, Captain Daddy Issues. Socks not be wanting to squander a grenade in the beginning of this old brawl, so Dunspice took it upon himself. Oh, grenade! We even get to kill you! But when Norman's fearsome Taurus hit the deck, they had no doubts that this time the cannons are ready. They let loose a grenade! Make quick work of them. Oh, what? <laughs> Shit. Okay, maybe yeah. maybe that strat wasn't the best. To save Sox any more embarrassment, Sabir be suggesting they fetch their protagonist Pokemon, Jackhorn. The scurvy scallywag be making quick work of Tauros and Snorlax, earning them their first gym bag, i.e. After deciding to abandon their morally gray strategy of using Pokemon as literal grenades, they sought to plunder some fine looking mons for their crew. They begin a devilishly dastardly doggo, a mischief making marionette. Hesitantly, a hideous hothead hell spawn. Magmar is the dumbest looking Pokemon in the whole fucking game. They tested their crew on a local scallywag, but the waves be rougher than they thought. Their lack of moveset knowledge cost them their spooky specter and almost wiped out their precious pup. Oh, yikes! Oh uh, shit, we yeah, jack the fuck out of there, bud. Charles Darwin be dancing in his grave as a tough battle resulted in a much needed evolution for Hondor. The next voyage proved to be a little gentler on the lads, as they were blessed with some true powerhouses of the sea. A blubbery bouncing ball and an eerie enigmatic entertainer joined the crew. The duo be brimming with confidence as they step foot in their second gym brawl with the fearsome wall puncher Brawly. The foul molester mime be 
be setting his sights on frying the brains of them fighting types, but Hitmonchan be having none of that. With the aid of Jack in blinding a wee child, Sox and Sabir brought themselves enough time to fry the rest of old Raleigh's crew, snatching up their second gym win. In the next Salem, Dexfield be taking out Carvana and transforming into none other than Dr. Eggman. I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker. He pissed on my fucking wife. That's right. He took his hedgehog fucking bully dick out and he pissed on my fucking wife. Arg and the Magni be blasted out of the can, be hitting the broad side of the ugly shit. But he be stronger now, I guess. Arg, the crew be feeling mighty confidence as they be stepping up to face the treacherous scallywag known as Watson, the third gym leader. Oh, oh it's, hey, it's over. Watson's done. He's GG. Get over here, old man. Put you down, too. Yeah, you better walk on. I'll hit an old man in public. But I, what folly befall a man when overconfidence grips his heart? Bulldoze. Okay, power for oh, unless it's, wa it's fucking water. No, he is punishing this mortal for his hubris. My fucking hubris, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> With their only ground type sent to Davy Jones' locker, the fight turned into an arduous struggle against a mining that be as stubborn as a barnacle on a ship's hull, refusing to yield to defeat. Flame burst to finish it. Oh. Yo, this minus suck. So once again, Sox and Sabir had to be crafty swashbucklers, taking advantage of the blind and confused. Ha <laughs> ha, he's already dead. Leading them to another gym badge. Fuck you, dude. Oh man, he took such a good, good boy from us. A gung-ho, gustling glider filling the empty space in the party, and a Jacksville filling the empty space in the hearts. The crew stumbles upon something legendary. The chance to gain an edge in this run be guarded by a salty siren. Oh. Don't make me bad. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! Oh, that is such a scum <laughs> Yeah. In the midst of their fierce skirmish with the cunning vixen, they found themselves depleted of vital resources. Nope. I think we're out of lemonade. Yeah. Moon milk. That's it. yeah. Uh, moon okay, milk so this on... one heals 100. So Jack and Jack. Jack. Yet the brave duo persevered, summoning the strength to discuss which Pokemon would serve them the best in their encounter with this unpredictable legendary beastie. Orange? Yeah. I think that's a good balance. Okay. Unless it turns out to be like Zapdos. Yeah. I don't know that cry. People know like the Oh, it's fucking Zapdos! <laughs> this game he fucking hates me. <laughs> Ye scurvy Zapdos be giving them lads a fierce rejection. Harder than Disney denying me the chance to sail in Pirates of the Caribbean 6. And then I fired again. And then I missed. And then I fired. And then I fired. And I missed. I missed both times. And then I fired. And I missed. Fucker, dude. You wanna die? You wanna die? Oh man, this is it, this is it, this is it. Come on, you bastard, come on. Oh, yes! Oh, literally our last chance. Literally our last chance. This move says it's not the best right now, and hopefully. Fuck that! Fuck you! That sucks, mates. A fork in the road be pushing the scurvy dogs to make a choice. I, between reclaiming some booty and a PC that be having the power to bring back one of their fallen shipmates. They be choosing the PC, hoping to set their eyes on old mate Jack Ryhorn once more. We get one of her so boys back. Do away? Oh. <laughs> grenade? Oh. If it's all grenade. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked us over. <laughs> With grenade. Uh -huh. Oh, you! An idiot sandwich. Arg, the fifth gym leader, Flannery, be a ruthless lass, showing no mercy to the lads. She be taking the lives of both Jack Walrain and Jack Magmar. Oh. I know, dude, I, and I love every single time we're like, we got the type advantage, we got the type advantage. But fear not, me hearties, for our brave mate Socks be taking charge, rallying the crew with a powerful speech that filled them with fire of a thousand cannons. Today we face the monsters that are at our door and bring the fight to them. Today we are canceling the apocalypse.
Together they faced the battles head on, fighting tooth and nail. And when they finally won that hard earned gym badge, the crew would be left shaken in their boots. For the challenge was a fierce one. Damn. That was hard. We are looking light. Yeah, yeah that was very hard. The crusty crew pushing forward, they be. And they be having another chance to reunite with some lost souls. I, With Jack Walrain back on the ship, the crew be facing a mighty trainer. One stronger than anything they've seen before. A scurvy Jack Gligar be kicking off the battle with Doug Trio. But the stealth rock be hitting hard, making it mighty difficult to keep fresh mons on the field. After trading blows, Gligar be taking out the dumb trio, only to come face to face with one of the finest starters of the land, Swampert. The irony be lost on me, as Swampert be burning a water slash ice type Pokemon with a water type attack. Arg! The burn be whittling their thick boy's life but any damage to Swampert be lessened by the leftovers it holds. Thank the Seven Seas, Pyramid King Brandon be making critical errors using Roar, which swapped out Jack for Mr. Jack. And finally, the tides be turning in their favor. Mr. Jack be filling Swampert's head with intrusive thoughts, and the Scallywag be getting vanquished. Arr. But the battle is far from over, me hearties, as our crew be lacking healing items. The stealth rock be still in play, and a pesky quagsire be causing trouble. They be needing a hero to save the day. I need a hero! Alright, big fella, let's crash hero. this party! Stormed in like a mighty thunderclap, blasting hyper being that sent a quagsire to Davy Jones' locker with a single strike. Then another thunderous hyper beam would fall in the dawn fan. However, the stubborn beast holding on just enough to give their champion a parting blow before meeting Davy Jones himself. Pupitar then swooped in, delivering the final blow to the legendary bird. Oh no! <laughs> Jack Dose and his noble sacrifice didn't die in vain for it gave our crew the final burst of power to see the battle through. And the booty for this legendary brawl be the Pokemon that laid Jackdos to rest, Dawn Fan. Before I proceed with this tale, I be needing to give ye a warning. The tragedy of what befalls next is not for the weak o' hearts, so gather ye misty body pillows and a box o' tissues for reasons different of nature this time. Arg, the scurvy crew seasoned in battle be ready themselves for a clash with the sixth gym leader. Using the mystical stone they stumbled upon, tis revealed that tis a rock-type gym leader named Roxanne. Aye, even though they be under-equipped, the crew be feeling mighty confident that they can at least best Roxanne's first Pokemon with their mighty tank, Jack Warren. Okay. I hope this goes out. No! <laughs> he ate the. I hate you. Why can't we keep you alive in the first patch? The eyes welled up with emotion as the crew failed to learn the lesson of overconfidence. But fear not, the crew unleashed their newest member, Jack Fan, who be seeking vengeance. Jack Fan takes down the brute who slew his mate, Kabutops and Corsola. Victory be within grasp as Roxanne be left but with one Pokemon. But then, the devil himself be appearing. Meteor Beam? Oh my god, fuck you, me. <laughs> oh, I swear if this Meteor Beam kills Jack, too. I'm... No, 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 no. <laughs> no! <laughs> How did he hit that first? Cross the fucking moon rock. I told him. Is this our fucking? We just needed one hit. Head smash. Okay. That's our strongest. What is that? Okay, it's oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh this was psychic. fucking bullshit. This Lunatone sucks. Yeah. We lost. That's it. I just like that it was over. All of our confidence can be a fearsome storm that sinks even the sturdiest of ships. Uh, but when ye be too cocksure of your abilities, ye may neglect proper preparation and planning, leading to some foolish mistakes. Not all was lost. A friendship formed long ago was rekindled in the wake, and the knowledge that they actually have to try in Pokemon was learned. If you enjoyed this tall tale, please leave a like and comment. What part broke your heart the most? Are socks and severe idiots? Do you like my beard?
until next time, smooth sailing mates. Mm -hmm.